you smirking about? Say hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Welcome to our YouTube channel. <laughs> that was creepy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was so creepy, baby. Well, no, 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 for real. Let me turn the radar detector down. What's up, YouTube? So, I just wanted to give an update about my car. Um, I know some of you guys have seen my video with the motor noise. Um, <clears throat> the car's been at the dealer for the last, what, month and a half? Sure. Yeah. It's like a month and a half. Uh, about three weeks ago, they called me up and they said, they found the issue, they tore the motor down, and it was a bad wrist pin. So they went ahead and replaced the short block. Um, they called me yesterday and said the car is back together. Um, they just want to put us through some a couple more tests, and I should have it back Monday. So I'm really excited. I'm really looking forward to getting the car back. Um, i got a lot of big plans for this car. <clears throat> I'm going to get it back, drive it put five six hundred miles on it if the car is a hundred percent i'm gonna pull it in the shop and cut it open we're gonna put the turbo kit on it we're gonna do the fuel system we're gonna do the suspension we're gonna do everything uh, i just seen that lund racing also just came out with um, a trans brake for the 10r80 good job lund cool shit um really excited about that I actually sent my turbos back to Helion I originally ordered the 5562s um, <clears throat> because I really wanted the fast spool of the 55s and I was kind of on the fence with the 62 6266s um, so I originally ordered because I had the kit for the last month and a half I bought the car in March I had the kit maybe uh, three weeks after I bought the car um, thank God I didn't put it on the car. Um, <clears throat> but I knew the noise was there. That's why, uh, you know, that's why I didn't put the put the kit on the car because the, the noise was there. I knew it was there. It was just getting Ford to recognize it had a problem. And that took a little bit of time. To be honest, that was a little painful. But anyway, so I sent my turbos back. <clears throat> and uh, I got the 62, 66 ball bearing turbos on the way. I'm gonna put them on there. We're gonna take it down, put the fuel system on it, uh, injectors, and then um, I'm gonna get the car all together. Lund gave me a base tune to load up in the car, and uh, then I'm gonna bring the car down to Lund. I'm gonna let them have it for about a week or two, and uh, John Jr. over there said he's gonna put it on a dyno and dial it in, and um, <clears throat> literally looking forward to it. I'm really excited. It's been a long wait. Uh, I've had patience. <laughs> For the first time. <laughs> I actually was for I actually was forced to have patience. Um, but everything happens for a reason. That's really how I have to look at it. Who knows? I, I could have had the car could have been 100% when I bought it. Put the turbo on and I could have cracked the car up or somebody could have killed me or he got in a car accident. Everything happens for a reason. I don't know what the reason was for me to get a bad motor car, but maybe down the road, I will know. I don't know, but that's how I look at it. So <clears throat> I'm excited. I will keep you guys posted. I am planning on doing an installation video on the Helion Turbo Kit, the fuel system, the complete build of the car. We're gonna do the complete build of the car on YouTube. Um, from the ground up, the car is 100% stock right now. Um, so stay tuned, like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, comment below.